What is going on today, YouTube? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. <clears throat> hope, you, hope you guys are doing fantastic. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today, we're going to be taking a look back at my ranked games. Last time I made this video, you guys really did like it. And it's pretty simple to make. I just go and talk through all the all the stuff. And you guys like it. So it's a win-win. So we're just going to be going through all of our games. We're going to be talking about all the pros or the high-level players. Just kind of what they're building, what their builds look like. It's a lot bigger range with these. So you guys can see kind of like the bad gods that are played and what they are building or thinking about building. And all the way up to the good gods. So this will give you guys a really good idea for all types of gods. Problem is you have to skip around a little bit to find if there's any god that you really like. But unfortunately, there's not much I can do. I can't like order it any other way. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go. So starting with the bottom games. This is from the 13th. A lot of these games were no pros other than it was me... And then this is Sam for soccer. My build, War Flag. This is kind of the same build I've always been cooking on on Charon. Sam went for a Boomba's Hammer on Thor. So we're going to be kind of skipping through these early ones. Sam popped off. This is a Willix game. I played Odin in support. I popped off too, if you didn't know. If you couldn't, yeah, I popped off too. My last two items were just Absolution and Bow. The Dodgy looked really good. I, I thought Dodgy was bugged right now. Like she has an auto attack problem with her... Her one, her auto attack cancels, but Sam made it look really good. Vamana game, don't take this Vamana build. I was useless. I did nothing. Sam also almost as useless, but definitely not as useless as me. And then we had Incon and the last and Paragon kind of carrying us. Nox game. I played a Nox support game. I love cooking like this on Nox. I think you're super hard to kill anyway. As soon as you get the Sentinels. So Sentinels binding Chronos Pendant as a three item spike is just really strong in my opinion. And then Sam played Loki, another Boomba's Hammer game. Last is on Nika or Nike. And then Incon played Freya. I played an on her ADC game. I was fragging. Sam was fragging. Their entire team. They had no pros, but they had some high level players. Fett kind of popped off or... I popped off on Fed, I guess. We dominated them. I would say ADC diff. I played an Athena solo game. I tried going a Boomba's Hammer build with a little bit of damage, a little bit of squishiness, I mean, uh, tankiness. It felt good. Fortunately, we got on. Our entire team was getting bodied. Hydrogen went 22 and 6 on Thanatos, and he built a Deathbringer just to rub it in our faces. But I played a support disco game, built a lot of damage. I went kind of just Sentinel Sob, and then I built a lot of damage because Bedard was, uh, was dying a lot. And uh, yeah, I went 9, 2, and 17 and lost this game. Damage doesn't mean anything, but... I mean, I was I was doing a lot in this game, and the guy was just crying because I picked Disco. Unfortunate, it happens. Played a Hurt game. We got stomped. I was dominating this early game. This build felt really good. I actually think this is probably what I'd build on Herc anyway. I think I'd go maybe Sekhmet's where I have the bow, but... I mean, overall, the build felt fine. We just kind of got stomped. No pros in this game again, but the Osiris is a really high-level player. I think he's SOC or SCC. He was kind of fragging. They ended up winning the game. He was dominating late game. He was pretty unkillable. So I was doing a lot. I was doing a lot, but we somehow lost, unfortunately. A lot of red, a lot of red in this week. Played an AMC game. I just went the Marty build. It felt insane. It's nothing special. Really easy build to run. And then they had kind of no pros. Okay, I thought there was a lot more pros in my games, but up here, I know we have a lot more. I guess I just have a ton of games to go through. I played an Erlang solo game. It was so bad. I built crit. We won though. So it, it means it was good, right? I played a Loki solo game. Got smoked. Their Heim went absolutely nuclear. This build actually looked really good on this Heim. I think Death's Embrace is pretty bad right now, but the build, I mean, he was still doing a lot. I played a Vulcan mid game into Cab middle and Zhang solo. They were both blinking on me off cooldown and kind of killing me. So I went, went Onis. The Cab build was actually really good. It's just full damage Cab with Sack Shroud. But both of these builds made them very hard to deal with, with Bancross and Sack Shroud. So they had just a ton of healing. And then they also had shielding on top of it. And I was just fodder for them. No pros in this game, but this Alma build, this guy's been cooking with this build. He was doing a lot of damage. Damage. I think he could go something else instead of Kins here. I think this is mostly just a normal Ama build, but this Kins, he was doing a lot of damage. I played a Zeus game. This Zeus build felt so good. This Zeus build felt so good. I went to the Blood Soak Shroud just to live a little bit. And this was Jake on the Ymir. Fortunately, his team was kind of, other than Mixify, we're not doing too well. 08 Kakolin, 06 Discordia. But this was Jake's build on Ymir. He went to the Heroism Thebes. Heroism, I don't know entirely why I went Heroism over Compassion. Maybe it's just because he's going Benevolence and a lot of pros are going Benevolence now. And Compassion isn't good on Ymir, so and heroism, but that's what his build was looking like. I played a mid Yorm got game. My Athena left the game, so unfortunately, this game was unwinnable. Jake was the Terra. He went a lot of damage, and he also went Spartan Flag. He's been building Spartan Flag a little bit. I think it's just a ranked thing where he likes it, but he has been building it a little bit. He's been cooking. Played a Thor mid game. This is Jake on my team with Aphrodite. He still thinks it's very good by how much he plays it in ranked. And he also went Rejuve Heart. Maybe tech, maybe not. I don't think it's that good on Aphrodite, but he went it. The rest of the build, I think, is perfect. The Rejuve was a little surprising. And then this is Slash, the SCC 
solo laner, very, very good player. Probably top, I don't know, 10 to 15-ish solo laner in the game. I mean, he was cooking. He was cooking. Unfortunately, late game, he just started getting one shot because of how much damage we had, but he was still doing a lot. I played a uh, Geb solo game. I got stomped. I played a Sylph solo game. I didn't get stomped and we won. No pros in this game also. And now, right after this one, this one is Slaney, who's a pro coach, but he, he's still going to be building stuff that he thinks is very good for competitive. Even if he's not like mechanically a top eight player in the world, he's still a very, very good player and he's highly knowledgeable. So this is the Kuzumbo solo build that he was cooking. I played Nem solo. We lost this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their team was cooking us. I played two Yemoji games in a row. This Sino was Scotty. His obsession was Scotty. And then this is another pro or ex-pro. Not out here going to expose Smurfs, but this is the, his build he was looking at. He was going vamp into Chronos Pennant. They surrendered like right away. I got this soul so fed and then our camera's also getting a ton of kills. I played another Yemoji game because I was like, that first game ended in 10 minutes. Let's go again. Same thing kind of happened, except this gun went a little bit later. The camo was Twig. Sino was the Olo ADC. And then this is another X pro So they had three pros on their team. This is the builds they were rocking. Diamond Air on Olo Run, not too surprising. Nothing surprising about the Raijin, Kama 2. The Emoji build is feeling really good. Uh, I'm really liking Cloak of the Aesthetic. It, it forces people to building anti-heal. A lot of the times they don't build it in rank, so it feels very good. I played a Jungle Naja game. We lost this. Twig went huge on this Awilix and... This guy played like a pro mid laner. He was actually just insane. Really good jukes, really good positioning, all the good stuff. He went nuclear. I played a Terra support game. The enemy team was Benny on Ryzen. This was Twig on the Lancelot. Their Ganesh wasn't a pro, but these two were both pros. This is the builds they were looking at. Benny's really loving Gemma Focus. He always kind of has. He went Chronos Pendant, and then Twig went just full damage Lancelot. Another game with another a good group of games. Ronnie on the Ares. Rongyu on the Ares, I guess is a better way to say it. Nog, which is one of the best mid laners in the uh, in the game probably top 10 ish top 12 ish somewhere around there that's what his uh, morgan build looked like and then ronnie on aries that's what his look like benny played mid cleaner this was stew on is anami he went triple crit no kins i've been seeing a, not a lot of kins which is a little surprising the kids are pretty good but hey they're the pros and then bars is another really good ranked player and then my uh 80 solo build and then lastly my kepri game that's what i was cooking and then they had three pros. They had Aurora on the Ares. Sino was the Osiris. Pico, one of the best ranked players. And he's also a high level SEC player. He was playing mid lane. And then they also had Fino K and Solo on this Hades. And these are what the, their builds were looking like. I'll move my head out of the way so you can see the Ares build. He went Abyssal. We ended up winning this game, which was cool. Because we had a bunch of uh, non-ranked players and we ended up winning the game. Or non-pro players and we won the game. That's what it looked like. If you guys have any questions about the builds, drop them down below. I don't know a better way to do this. I don't know if you guys have any ideas for a better way. I just want to show you guys the builds that I'm just seeing in my games. I'm a 3100 MMR player, Grandmasters. Not at the top anymore. I was for a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful first day. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.